It's coffee time. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this very impromptu vlog. So last year, my mission was to fix my reading room slash recording room, but I failed miserably, probably because I did set myself up for failure. I wanted to do it right before the end of the year, which is a busy time. And yeah, I never really managed to fix the room and I am still sad about it. It's been now almost a year again and I'm done with this room. <laughs> I need to fix it. So I thought I would take you along with me. Um, I need to fix it because I think for filming, especially my movie review content, there are so many things that I need to fix and it's been bugging me for a year and a half since I've been living here, almost two years. And it's time, so we're gonna fix it together. Let me show you the pure chaos that the room is at the moment and I need to clean all of that because cats sleep on this all the time. So we have a lot of books everywhere, decoration that it's not even in a nice spot. So it's all kind of a mess. It's bothering me, I need to fix it. This plant died, nobody knows when, how many months ago. So that needs to go. So yeah, we need to fix this. It's just a mess everywhere. Disgusting! And here is where my movies are, which is also a mess. These are all the new books that I just hold in my video that I need to put somewhere, who knows where, and more movies, more movies, and yeah, here are some TBR cards and stuff that are a complete mess as well, which we need to fix. Um, random Halloween thing. <laughs> I have here my queer books, which I also want to rearrange. And I also have here some random horror collectibles that I've been meaning to fix and organize properly for a while. So let's get to it, shall we? Coffee is ready. I have a new playlist that I'm going to be listening to. And also I'm going to take this opportunity to unhaul books. I want to get better at unhauling books um, faster because I do purchase a lot of books from thrift stores. I do get a lot of new books to review them and not all of them I will reread over and over again and I want to prioritize my collection to the books that are more special to me or the ones that I could see myself rereading. You know, there are some books that there's nothing wrong with them. I still love them and I still enjoy them, but it's not the ones that I want to keep for my collection. It's personal taste. It has nothing to do with the book being bad. But anyways, I decided that since I'm going to be rearranging the shelves and everything, now is also a good time to let go of a couple of books that I know I'm probably never going to reread, even though I did enjoy them. And those are the ones that is the hardest to unhaul because, like I said, I enjoyed the book. I thought it was fun. But, you know, it's not a book that I will probably reread or, you know, a book that I need to, to keep in the collection because I need to open up space for other books. I think we're going to do this in sections because I do have my books a little bit separated. Like I have middle grades, I have the YAs together, then I have adult horror, I have some novellas over there, like vintage horror paperbacks over here, then some thrillers. So I kind of have it already a little bit organized in genres and age groups, <laughs> I would say. Um, then here I have more fantasy. And I think this area is the one where I'm going to probably unhold the most because these are um, some of the YA fantasy books that I used to love and enjoy, but do I have to keep them all? Probably not. Uh, because I do want my collection to be more horror focused, so I might keep some that I probably would love to reread and revisit because they are like my absolute favorites. But I think the rest is probably best if it goes. All right, let's start with the middle grades. Let's get the music on. Let's start sorting out books, rearranging books, unhauling books, and getting the job done. Can you see I'm procrastinating? Because I know once I start, there is no turning back, you guys. Also, can we comment on my t-shirt? Because it says, be you, the world will adjust. And that is the only reason why I bought it. Plus, I like the color. Uh, but I thought that was such a cool quote. So yeah, slay. Are you not ashamed of yourself? We have middle grades down. I've only unhauled two, <laughs> but it's because there are many that I still have not read. And the other ones are collections that I want to keep, you know, like the Goosebumps and all of those good things and the um, uh, Creepover series, all of those I want to keep. So, but I'm trying to rearrange them in a different way on my shelves to see if it, 
is easier for me to add and remove books in the future I'm trying to leave a little bit of space um, here and there um, and prioritize like I said things that I really want to keep for a future you know private horror library that's the goal um, so now we're going to tackle YA which I do have a lot and I do love a lot of them so I'm going to have to make some decisions some hard decisions will have to be made and I need to remind myself as well that even if I unhold books now and I want to reread them in a couple years or whatever, I can probably still get a copy, get an ebook, you know. Um, there's options. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to unhaul it and I'm never going to have access to the book again. So I'm just going to try to be realistic with the space that I have and the plans that I have. And it's currently September and literally in November I'm going to go to Yolk. And we all know what's going to happen. I mean... I'm gonna go book shopping in London in a lot of different stores, any store that I can find. Plus, I'm gonna attend Yuck, which, you know, and this time I'm traveling by train, which means I don't have a maximum amount of weight that I can carry with me. Dangerous! This year I'm traveling dangerously, you guys. So, yeah, good luck to me with that. So, I also need to assume that I'm gonna buy a lot of YA books, so I need to perch a little bit. So, wish me luck! Also, I've been thinking, you guys, that I might separate my hardcover YA books from my paperbacks. I don't have many YA hardcovers, but I have a few. And I think it might look better if I put those together first. And then I just do the YA horror paperbacks. I'm trying to organize the books also in alphabetical order by author surname. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I did with the middle grades. And that's what I plan on doing with the YA horror ones. But I think I'm going to put the hardcover separate from the other ones. I think it's just going to look aesthetically more pleasing. Let's go to the next update, you guys. So I have finished reorganizing the YA horror books, which was a little bit more of a task, but we managed. And now I'm gonna dive into the vintage horror paperbacks, I think, um, and see how they look. I'm trying to put things like across and making space. I'll show that to you guys later. I didn't really unhaul many of the YA horror books, I think only three or four, uh, which means um, I have been doing a good job at constantly unhauling things um, and keeping mostly what I still haven't read or what I really want for the collection. I'm making quite good progress. I still have a lot to do. So I might just focus now on just keep going and check back with you guys in one hour or two um, so that I can just focus on the books and see how far I get today because I would love to get this done before tomorrow. At least we organize all the books. Um, that's probably like the minimum that I should try to tackle today. So you guys, it is the next day and I'm getting ready to film a video today. But before I do, I wanted to show you all the progress. So I have went through all my books, sorted them, unhauled some, not many, but a couple. And I have rearranged my shelves a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I have done so far. There's still more things that I have to do in this room. But since the book section is kind of almost finished, I'm just going to show you so that you can see. So here's my reading chair and my reading chair is always full of cat hair because there's always cats in the neighborhood. They love to sleep there. There is Lily. So here is how the books are currently looking, the bookshelves. When it comes to the books, I have my Stephen King's on the top and I have middle grade. I have YA, I have uh, vintage horror paperbacks, I have adult horror over here and I have the thrillers here and the novellas and independent horror books over there. Then this section has changed quite a bit. Um, I have here still some Stephen King's and Joe Hill's. I have here my queer um, section. Then I have over here some fantasy, but I kept mostly the ones that I really enjoy, like the Hunger Games and stuff like that. 
I have more kind of fantasy here. My Ransom Riggs uh, books of uh, Miss Peregrine School for Peculiar Children. Some B. Schwab, which I really enjoy. Um, and then we have here some um, sci-fi. And here are some vampire books that I own. I've also reorganized my cards. So here I have now the books that I need to read for this month's TBR and have some bookmarks here. This one I'm currently reading, so the dust jacket is here because I don't read hardcovers with a dust jacket on. I have here a book sleeve in case I need to take my book somewhere. Then I have here books that I need to read, like ASAP or that I'm currently reading, trying to finish for other pro uh, projects that are not TBRs. In this pouch I have here like sticky notes and all kinds of things that I can use for my books. And then on the bottom I have all my camera like paraphernalia, some sticky notes and here is my uh, Kindle. And the other TBR card what I've made is put here some books that I need to read soon. Some of them is because I want to decide if I keep them or not. Then I have here some pens in case I need, you know, to take notes. This one, the space is open for new purchases or new books that I get. I'm gonna hold them here now for my book hauls. And here are other books that I also need to read ASAP because I want to decide if I want to keep them or not. The majority of these are not horror, so I just want to see if I will enjoy them or not before I unhold them. And then I have these little shelves here and this space is still unfinished, but let me show you what I have so far. So I have here all my Heartstopper books. Um, behind this copy is all the graphic novels that I own and stuff. Then I have here my red, white and royal blue section that I have started. And I will order more things to decorate this space. And here I have some contemporaries or some romance contemporaries that I want to either um, try and see if I love them or not and some of them I've already read and I really enjoy them and on this other section I have here just graphic novels with my horror like mystery mini Funko Pops um, so yeah that's uh, where we're at but still a lot of work here to do as well and that is what I have you guys so far and I just wanted to show you because I know a lot of people want to see my bookshelves they want a bookshelf tour and I still have not had time for that to do it more like in detail but at least I hope with this video I show you a little bit what I have and how I've organized it and stuff all the books are organized by genre then by age <laughs> and then by surname um that's the method that i'm using but you know any method works uh but i don't know that's what helps me also keep track of where i have things if i'm looking for a middle grade i have a middle grade section if i'm looking for YA, I know where they are um etc so it's easy for me to find books this way uh but yeah let me know down below you guys how you organize your books and if you want to see a bookshelf tour if you want like all the books in one video or if you want it split into categories and then I could do middle grade books that I own and really show one by one what I own uh, because I cannot show one by one if I do a full uh, bookshelf tour because I think that will be way too long you guys <laughs> unless you want like a three hour video uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed it I'm so happy that I took the weekend to reorganize the bookshelves and the book room a little bit because it's gonna give me a lot of peace of mind when I sit down to read, when I'm joining sprints and all of that. I just think it's gonna be much nicer and I have now these lights as well, all the little ghosties. Look at that, that's so cute. Uh, so I can turn it on and off whenever I want to. So I'm glad that I took the time to do that. Um, and it's always nice when you get to refresh your bookshelves. At least it gives me a lot of inner peace and happiness. So I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you as always in our next coffee time. Bye!